Hello everyone. Welcome back. Today let's see how to manipulate date functions. In Excel we have built-in functions to calculate end date. For example, okay, this is the joining date. For this if you want to calculate a a end of the probationary period that is after 3 months. So that should be 1st of 2016. Right? So how do we calculate programmically? So in Excel we have built-in functions but in MS Word we don't have. So I have created a macro to do this. Uh, basically it's a two-step process. One is to create bookmarks and second one is to create a simple macro. Okay, let's see how to do it. Okay. So first insert a date. I will just insert a field called date. Okay, it's today's date. So I will call this bookmark insert links bookmarks. So I will call this as date. This is a bookmark. Okay, remember. Okay, this I call it as date two. Again, create a bookmark called date two. right and here one year completion so what is the date after one year so for that I'll create one more bookmark called date 3 okay so now I have completed the first step that is creating uh, bookmarks so let's see how to write a macro for that it's very simple macro so I have copy pasted here okay okay let's see how to create this go to developer app tab say record a macro so macro one say okay okay here you don't don't do anything just stop it and go to macros see this is a macro you just created say press edit okay you have not done anything right so delete right so you need to copy this macro here what exactly it is so first I'm creating two date variables right okay and what ne what is next I'm actually reading the value of first bookmark all right so what should I do Active document dot bookmarks. Okay, instead of name, you can call by index items, right? So, in our case, the index of the first first bookmark is one. So, one. So, I need to select the complete text. So for that, uh, you have to say range dot text. Okay, so you have copied the value of bookmark into a variable called edit. Next, we need to convert this string to date format. See, see now we have declared this as string. This should be in a date format. To manipulate the value of date right so let's create one more variable uh, is equal to C date of expression a date right okay now this contains the value of uh, the date in date and time format okay so now calculate the end date for probationary period that is after three months 
right so we need to calculate the value here okay so end date one is equal to VAT add okay so interval that is see these are the interval values if you put y y y y it will be year q for quarter m for month so on so for for me it is m that is three months i will make it as m comma interval that is how many months for me it's three months right then date what is the actual date that is format date okay okay so our date one now contains the value of uh, date after three months so I need to calculate now date two that is for a uh, one year completion all right so two is equal to date date and interval that is year see so you have to use this value y y y y for year right so i want one year so i'll put interval as one year and the value of the date is format data okay so we've got the two values date 1 and end date 1 and end date 2 so how to put this back into our ms word page right so for that you have to use active document dot bookmarks dot range dot text is equal to see you have uh, taken the text from bookmark here but you are putting the text back to bookmark right okay i'll see how we do that If you press control space, it will show what are the possibilities. All right. Dot bookmarks. Okay. So you can refer by name. Earlier I have referred it by index. All right. So you can refer it by name. What part is the, what was the name given to the second bookmark? Okay. See here. Insert links to check. Okay. The second bookmark name is date two. Reng that text is equal to you are assigning value back to bookmark right what is the value uh, it's nothing but date one in date one sorry all right okay so we have just put a value for date two that is after probationary period that is after three months so how do you put uh, date for after one year so that is nothing but date two same thing you just copy paste okay is date three let's check yeah this is date three and here it is date okay okay let's not confuse this by you know uh, one and two it is actually two and three so it is two and it is three right okay let us run the macro now so we have created uh, bookmarks and a simple macro to calculate the end date all right so let's see so this is the current date date one date two Say so let's run it. Okay, type mismatch. match. 
so what is the problem here let's debug okay we are not able to read the value from bookmark let's check it okay I think uh, the value of bookmark 1 is not properly set alright what I'll do now here I will again create a bookmark 1 links bookmarks that is date will delete it so alright how to add it select the entire thing go to insert links bookmarks set date alright okay now we have three bookmarks that is date date 2 date 3 okay let's check the code again stop it run I right, here it is all right so the problem was we didn't set the of bookmark one properly right so I will show you how to okay I'll just uh, okay so there's nothing in column two and three so if you run this okay uh, alternatively you can also run it from your MS Word right so this is my current date and what is the date after three months and what is the date after one year go to macros this is what we created now say run all right so after three months it will be January 2nd of 2016 after one year it will be 10th I mean 2nd of October 2016 so likewise you can create n number of uh, macros bookmarks to calculate uh, you know end date so what are the possibilities you have you have you can calculate quarters months day of the year day week etc let's try one more okay so this uh, okay uh, 20 days I say after 20 days alright so how do you do this so for day it is D the interval value is D so let's change the value so to calculate date 3 we are going to change this to day instead of year right so how many days that is 20 days right make this as 20 okay let's see run it so we'll delete it while deleting you have to be careful don't delete the bookmark okay so okay so today is 2nd of october so after 20 days it will be 22nd of october all right thanks for watching subscribe and if you like it thumbs up please thank you